Hi everyone, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the mind blowing prediction trick. Okay, so this is a trick that I learned three weeks ago, and I totally forgot about it until now. Okay, so this is a tutorial on it. First of all, you need to have a um, spectator, obviously. The two is probably the best, but I only had one, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so you need to give the card a shuffle, okay, and ask the spectator to shuffle them as well. And then you can even give them a few cuts, which I was out of the screen when I did this bit. But to be honest, I didn't do anything dodgy with them, because you'll see why now. You just keep cutting small packets off. Okay, so, put the screen roll up again. And you can give them one big cut again. Okay, so from there on, you can shuffle it all day, and it still will make a difference to the trick. Because you make a prediction beforehand. And with the prediction, you're just going to take any card in the whole deck. I just chose the nine of spades because it's the top card and I could take it off easily. Because what you tell them is you say you, that you have got a deck of 52 cards. But actually you only have 51 because the other one is underneath the prediction you make beforehand. And you keep that somewhere where they can't see. So I just kept it by my laptop. So I'm just going to leave it in screen for now. Okay, so underneath the prediction is a card. And that's matching the prediction. I'm using the nine spades and the prediction is also nine spades. Okay? So you have matching obviously. Okay, so make sure they don't see the prediction at all. And then you're just gonna say just take the deck and just just chuck some cards down so roll in a big messy pile. And whenever you have the intensity to stop, whenever you feel like it's you're comfortable to stop, but they can even touch it and make it a bit messier. But you just say stop, and they stop. And you just take the rest of the packet, and you can just put it anywhere they like. I'm just going to put it... I need to put it now, but... I'm just going to put it by here for now. If you know, by here. So, now, what you're going to do is, with your prediction, is you're going to say, Okay, I'm just going to take the prediction, and underneath you're going to take the cards as well. But they can't see the card, they can only see the piece of paper. Okay, so let me explain. Prediction underneath the prediction. The card is underneath the prediction. And you're just going to put it on. Okay, on the cards. And then you're going to ask them to take off the piece of paper. But don't look at it. They just take it off. But now, the, the top card is... Nine spades. So what you say is you're going to say, I'm going to take the last card that you threw down and it was down and it was nine of spades. And they say, you, normally you would say, memorize it, but you're going to say, okay, that's funny because if that's the nine of spades, I, my prediction does also be nine of spades. Now, that's a really cool trick. Um, I can't remember where I learned this, to be honest. I think it was scam school. I'm not really, really sure. Um, but, yeah, it's just really cool. I, it was absolutely mind-blowing as soon as I saw this. So, because I didn't have an absolute clue how he did it. How Mr. Brian Bushwood did it. So, that's what makes it really cool. Okay, so... Um, I don't want to go on too much about the trick because now you should know how to do it. So I'll see you next time.